Heading into Short Creek Valley, you can't deny the breathtaking scenery. Our mountains are beautiful and our canyons are wonderful. But it's the history and mystery of Colorado City, Arizona and Hilldale, Utah that draws people. It's always been such a curiosity. Don't go out there. They're weird. They're polygamists. A place where some pronounce themselves prophets. Most of the time people just claim it, but to get people to follow them is a different story. Brielle Decker knows all too well about those who come to power in the church. I was the 65th wife of Warren Jeffs. Warren Jeffs, a man who became the FLDS prophet in the early 2000s with at least 78 wives, including minors, until his arrest and eventual conviction. Do you know anyone who did say no to him? No. Now, this town is being forced to reckon with another ruthless prophet. In 2019, Samuel Bateman, a product of this community, claimed Jeffs called him to lead the church. When Sam Bateman popped up being the prophet, I was concerned all along because he claimed to follow Warren. According to court documents, Bateman referred to Jeffs as Uncle Warren and told his wife he was going to be a very important man. Despite losing that family, he created a new one, building compounds, convincing members to follow him, to give up not only their possessions, but their children to become Bateman's child brides. Within two years, Bateman's flock grew to more than 50 members, with the FBI saying Bateman amassed more than 20 wives, half of them underage. I heard about some of the rumors that he had nine-year-old brides. The allegations are beyond disturbing. Bateman is accused of not only forcing girls to marry him, but the FBI says he sexually abused them while forcing other girls to watch and participate. And when the girls fought back, Records show he said it was God's will, threatening banishment from heaven for any who were not obedient to his will. I do think he is a cookie cutter of Warren. He did almost the same thing that Warren was doing. Brielle believes one reason why Bateman was able to gain this control over so many goes back to his relationship with Warren Jeffs. He most likely was in the elite groups. Or he wouldn't have carried on those things and people wouldn't have followed him as easy. Bateman, his child brides and followers all moved back to Colorado City in 2021, living in multiple compounds, including this one. Okay, yeah, so Samuel Bateman here. Posting motivational videos to his YouTube channel and starting his own real estate consulting business. I'm being mentored by multimillionaires and billionaires. But law enforcement says it was his followers who propped up their leader's lifestyle, buying him Bentleys that were seen driving through Colorado City raising suspicion from those in town, like Hilldale Mayor Donia Jessup. Anybody that knew anything about it was reporting to the correct institute that they should have been reporting to. Records show child safety workers did come to investigate, but were turned away from his followers, leaving him free until August 2022, when a DPS trooper pulled over Bateman and Flagstaff after calls about kids in the trailer saw fingers poking out of the trailer. Body camera footage shows three young girls walk out. How old are you? 14. 14. How old are you? 11. How old are you? 12. Then one of the officers noticed. A 14 year old, she had a ring on her finger, on her ring yeah, finger. Mom. They've all kind of like hidden those. I mean, they're, we, we, we know what's going on here. Explain to me what's going on. Calm down. This arrest the beginning of Bateman's downfall. Put your hands behind your back. While behind bars, Bateman told followers to delete accounts, messages, and even shred diaries, leading to an FBI raid at his Colorado City compounds just a few weeks later. All I can remember is hearing a lot of sirens and seeing police up and down the street. Bateman will go on trial next year for sex crimes against children. Several of his followers and wives also facing charges. At this green colored compound, the trailer sits empty, the child brides gone. And while no one answered the door, we saw two van loads of people leaving the compound, the home and his followers still active. After DCS removed nine girls from Bateman's compound, some of his older wives attempted to kidnap and transport them to Washington where they were caught. Tomorrow on 12 News at 10, we look at how some who were trapped in the FLDS overcame the abuse. In the studio, Chase Golightly, 12 News.